Hey guys, MTAS here, and today I want to talk about the Destiny 2 Summit event. Now, I don't know if you read the Bungie weekly update or if you've been on Twitter much, but Bungie has announced that there are going to be multiple content creators going out to Bungie April 19th and 20th, I believe are the dates, to discuss Destiny 2 and the future of Destiny. I can't really show you the email that they sent me and invited me because I, I think that's technically confidential. I don't want to. I don't want to get in any trouble. There are going to be NDAs that we need to sign, but I have a sense. I have a feeling that we're not going there just to talk about Destiny 2 because there's already a DLC planned, ready, you know, shipping in a month or so. There's not anything we can really change for that DLC. There's going to be future DLCs, I'm sure that we can change, but. The way it was worded, I have a sense or a feeling personally, and this hasn't been announced, this hasn't been official, but I have a sense, I have a feeling that they want our input on the future of Destiny, going into Destiny 3. Now, it hasn't been announced, hasn't been official, I don't know if it's actually coming, I think it's technically in their contract, but why would they fly out 42 people that love this game, that want to see this game improve, that want to give insight on this game, if they weren't thinking long term? We might not get to see anything about Destiny 3, we might not get to play anything of Destiny 3, but discussing the future and what we want to see from it, I think that would be a major possibility. Even if it's just throwing some ideas their way, I think that might be one thing we discuss, but that's honestly just me speculating. But the primary thing that we're there to talk about is how do we fix Destiny 2? How do we fix this game? Because it is broken in many, many ways. There's a lot of cool people that are being flown out. True Vanguard, KJ Hovey, Gathalion, uh, I don't know if you know Giggle Monster or Giggs is his, is his name now. Datto's going out there, Holtzman's going out there. There's a ton of awesome community people, people that post all the time on Reddit like Mercules. I'm not going to list everyone that's going. I'm sure you could find it if you tried, but there's 42 of us, I believe. Someone counted it all out. And that is a big investment of resources for Bungie to be dishing out 42 flights and, and, and hotels and everything for a couple of days. We're going to be discussing directly with, you know, the people that make the decisions at Bungie. We're going to be talking with people at Activision and Bungie about what the hell to do to turn this thing around. Because, I mean, it's obvious. With the player counts, the, 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 the anger and frustration that you see online, Destiny 2 is not in a good place. And if they don't you know, pick their shit up, this game is going to fully die. And if they don't pick their shit up, no one's buying Destiny 3. If they don't pick their shit up, you know, this whole franchise is going to be a bust because people are going to lose faith in Bungie. You know, this is a this is a big move. This is a desperation move because they realize that they got to change. They got to turn things around. So I'm very excited for this. I think it's going to be a great opportunity uh, to not only, you know, give some insight into what we want to see changed, but hopefully it will lead to some amazing change. Hopefully this is a big step up in Destiny 2 to become the game that it deserves to be, that it could be, that we hoped it would be. Now, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. I already tweeted out about it saying, what do you guys want me to tell them? There's actually been discussions with a bunch of us content creators. I think on Monday night, uh, we're planning on kind of sitting down and talking so that we go there with a very focused and unified idea. We want to go there prepared and ready to discuss with them what the biggest issues are in the game. We want to discuss why we're, you know, upset, what we want to see changed. We really want to go there with a focused plan. This is, you know, we're the voice for you guys. Right? I've got 230, 240,000 subscribers. I want to fix this game for you guys. So if you have something that upsets you, if you have something that you want fixed, I would really appreciate your opinions. I'm going to read all of the comments on this video. I'm going to try and get through every single comment. I'm not going to reply to them all because it's impossible. I can't reply to a thousand comments. But I will read every comment that's get, you know, that gets posted on this video. But if you're going to take the time to write a comment, don't just shit talk the game. Like, give me some constructive feedback so that I can really gather my thoughts and put this together, okay? Now, going forward, some of the things that I plan on bringing up or I hope to address are 
end game grind, the power level issues. You know, we've got this power level on our characters and it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter at all. You can be 335 power level or you can be 300 and almost every bit of content feels the same. I have confusion as to why we can't feel powerful in this gear-based, loot-based, you know, almost MMO type game. It's, it's confusing to me why we can't feel powerful, why we don't have these cool perks, why there's no set gear to chase for, why there's no exotics that truly make me feel like, yeah, baby, I'm a badass. The only exotic that I really cared about getting in Destiny 2 was the Ophidian aspects on my Warlock because it's so damn good in Rumble. And when I finally got it, I cheered. I was excited. But that's like the only exotic in the game that I even cared about. I want more moments. I want more Galahorns. I want more Last Word, Thorn. These big, epic weapons and guns and gear and loot and armor pieces that make you go, HOLY SHIT! when it drops. Because this is a looter-shooter type game, and I don't give a shit about 90% of the loot in this game. I, I want this to be that game that I want to play all the time again. And I think it has some massive potential to do that. I know that it can change for the better. But we need your recommendations. We need to fix things. I'm also going to discuss things like, um, you know, skill gap in PvP. There's very, very little skill gap in Destiny 2. There's bloom on the weapons. There's really, really reduced accuracy when jumping in the air. We have all these cool abilities and they feel... Um, you know, unrewarding at times to use. Why would I double jump when I'm just going to miss all my shots? You know, stuff like that. I want to discuss that. And, you know, overall, I want to hit it from every angle. I want to make this game better at all angles. And I know a lot of you guys think I'm a PvP guy, but I have heavy, heavy investments in PvE as well. I want raids to be good. I want Nightfalls to be good. I want everything to be good. So I guess just trust that I've got your best interests in my heart, in my brain. I'm ready to do this. I'm excited to do this. It's a great opportunity, and I can't wait. That's it for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.